Welcome back. We have uh, part of the king, uh, as they call him here. Uh, Sandy Holmes from Heinz 57 is in. Uh, with, I mean, it's a sad story what, is, what happened to this little gal and her brother, but hopefully we'll have a happy ending. Yeah, we sure hope so. This is Presley. Presley is a 12-week-old blue healer. Mm -hmm. She was found dumped with her brother, Elvis. Yep not too long ago and so they brought her to a Heinz 57 Who's that and uh, we're getting her vaccinated microchip fully loaded spade. as we say ready to she, go she's ready to go she's on the website now okay now is she bonded at all does she, do they need to go as a pair no. or they no. probably wouldn't okay no, they're actually in foster homes right now and they're okay. in separate foster homes okay so they are ready to to go uh, home with somebody out there, you know, if you have space. I think as uh, when we, as we talked before we started the segment, we need to stress that she's going to need. She's high energy. A lot of places to run around. She, a dog like this needs stimulation, areas to run, play. So keep so, that yeah. in mind, and you kind of help the process at at your location because you go out and check out kind of where. A home visits involved. We do a home visit, correct. You know, that's good because you want to set people up for success. Right. Uh -huh. If uh, they have other animals in the home, we'll check to see that they're compatible. Yeah. Presley's in a foster home right now with three small children and another dog, and she does fine. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. Could be a great family dog. Right. Um, and as you said, probably wouldn't be much of a lap dog as, as no. she gets a little older. She's going to want to run around and just be loved like crazy. So the only speak. reason she's sitting still on my lap is I have treats in my hand and she can smell them. We bribe. That's, that's, that's okay. Um, there is kind of a good update too. I know that things have kind of been at a standstill at the at a Heinz 57 because we've been waiting for some tests to come back. Correct. Um, and I mean, hopefully some good news coming soon, right? Yeah. Earlier this week we got the blood results from most of our dogs and uh, the puppy mill dogs from Knoxville and mm -hmm. they were released. It was a very exciting and emotional day to see them yeah. go home with their fosters or their adopters. And so now we're just waiting on Zane yep. and his two comrades, Will and Watson. We're hoping maybe today the blood results will be back. I just wanted to give people Possibly opportunity. Tuesday. We've been we've been right there waiting uh, with you and Amy and everybody involved on, you know, literally everything's kind of been at a standstill with uh, adoptions and, you know, expansions. Everything has stopped as we wait to make sure that everybody's healthy and ready to go and we're, we're pretty confident. And Amy wanted to send her wishes. She's sorry she can't be here today, but the Department of Ag is there today doing some inspections. Hey, you got that's the that's important. You got to be there because she needed to be there. The mission has to continue and it does and yeah. you all do such great work with your your animals and well, thank you. you really treat them um, as if they were your own as they find those for yeah. their homes. So if you would like to start the process, the website's always a good place. There's an application and then there's the arranging of the home visits. And it's it's a process, but they do it right. That's, right. that's for sure. So we, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah.